What is going on YouTube? Hey, I'm back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. So in the past uh, 24 hours, things have definitely taken a turn for what appears to be the worst. And I'm not trying to spread FUD, uh, fear, uncertainty, and doubt, but it seems like the markets are kind of gearing up for a potentially breaking bearish. And I don't want this to be a surprise to anybody, but I want you guys to be prepared and know what to do when the time comes. Because fortunately, the technology, uh, you know, since 2017 has gotten much better in regards to trading crypto. You can finally uh, short cryptocurrency pretty easy, which seems to be what we might end up doing over the next couple of days as the markets start to turn bearish here. But we won't know until we get confirmation as we are starting to read test these supports but we won't know until we close a candle below these levels so we need to talk you need to think about that as we go on into today's video now just take a quick peek here uh, the first thing to, you know, take a gander at is XRP, which was doing pretty well over the past couple of days. The rally up uh, to the upside, we had our cool off period here, which has done extraordinarily well. I know some of you guys are like, wait, whoa, this bearish reversal is good. Yes, because we were overbought. So a healthy correction in a bear market uh, is necessary to potentially see a small reversal back up, which is what we were planning for. However, we're starting to get close now to the support here. Remember, this is the support that really is keeping the shape of XRP. It's what's holding us up above, you know, a very strong support level here. So if we don't break through, if we do break through this, my apologies, if we break through this here, we are going to see a pretty terrible, nasty drop to the downside. We haven't confirmed this yet because we are only retesting it. But if we close below here, and I'm thinking anywhere below like 43 cents, let's give it a little bit of room below these other wicks here. So we close at like 43 cents, any 43.9, you know, uh, 0.439, we can confirm that we are probably going to see correction to the downside. And what's going to help us do that is these other cryptos. You can see here, Ethereum, Bitcoin, S&P, all very interesting things we have to talk about. So with that all being said, make sure to smash the like button, turn up post notifications, subscribe, and let's dive into today's video. I know I talk about this at the end of the video, but Bityard is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging platform that I like to use here on the channel. A lot of you guys ask in the comments down below, like, how do I trade? How am I even shorting? How do I buy in long? How am I, you know, leveraging? You know, a lot of these questions arise because, you know, you're not seeing it at the end of the video. So a quick refresher is that I use Bityard. And the reason I use Bityard is because they offer XRP, which pretty much no other exchanges do. You can see right here, the best part about being able to trade XRP and just the best part about Bityard is the fact that you're allowed to long and short crypto, which is sick. It's super, super, super easy of a website here. They even have leverage trading, 20x leverage all the way up to like you know, I think 20x for for Bit, uh, for XRP, but Bityard can go up to 50x, which is super cool. So they made it fairly reasonable. No 100x trying to shill crazy stuff like that. They also offer a live, and the best part is a demo account with $100,000 in Monopoly money to test your skills out. You can see right here, test your skills. No risk, which is awesome. A lot of people get burned by doing that. The best part is if you use the link in the description down below, then click on mystery box right here, you can actually get some free crypto. And another thing is a lot of you guys uh, also ask, how can you withdraw money? on here well i've actually figured out as of like a couple of days ago like last week how to withdraw money from bityard with uh the the most minimal fees i'm not talking about transferring bitcoin or xrp or uh what is it uh chain link i've actually found a way where the most it costs is only three bucks and it's a way to avoid coinbase fees so i think it's a really good idea i think it's a really good video if you guys have any questions about this let me know in the comments down below because i'm really eager to make a video on bityard and how to withdraw with no fees on Coinbase, which is incredible. And it's been, you know, a blessing that I can avoid paying these crazy fees now completely you know, fine, nothing shady about it, but it's pretty incredible. So let me know what you think about that. But I'm um, diving into the technical analysis. Like I said, top 10 cryptos are mainly just consolidating. We're down right now, which isn't necessarily a good thing, but only 1%, nothing crazy here. But we are getting, like I was saying, dangerously close to retesting some pretty vital supports on these cryptocurrencies. And if we start to see the daily candle close us below here tonight, tomorrow, the next day, it's going to lead for a very negative reaction within the market. Currently, the way these markets are looking here, a lot of people are uh, in fear of a recession. Now, we could have been confirmed a recession 
two quarters ago, about six months ago here. So ideally, we've probably been in one a little bit longer. You know, if we confirm a recession happen and start, then we start at the first quarter. So we've had January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. It's been about 10 months, actually, of confirmed recession that we've been living in here, which is almost halfway or almost halfway through what could be uh, um, the recession here. Um, so I do believe 2023 will start to see movements back to the upside here. That's what I'm waiting for. Um, but hopefully this is bottom for a lot of these cryptos. Hopefully we're getting very close to the bottom in a lot of these cryptos. But we're pretty much going to find out very soon with how they react. If we close below these supports here, these vital supports, we will see us drop very substantially to the downside. Reason being is looking at XRP, you can see here, we've had a beautiful descending triangle for a very long time here on XRP, trending inside, finding its bottom support. It's kind of the pattern that XRP likes to do. We had it back in 2017, all the way into 2020, years in the making here. You could see 2017 to 2020. It's been about two years of this consolidation because it was right at the end of 2017 here. So 2018 to 2020, this is 2021 into 2022 here. So it's the middle of 2021 into the end of 2022. So we might have a little bit more into 2023. We don't know. But the fact is, if we break back down below this, which is possible here, we could definitely end up trending into the end of this year in just negative territory, which isn't good, but it does open short opportunities. The goal is we stay above here. The goal is we trend out of it. That would allow us to see a reversal back to the upside, but it hasn't confirmed just yet. And we're seeing a lot of uncertainty right now with the way these coins are trading here. The fact that we're starting to, you know, kind of balance out right on the bottom here is not really uh, good in any sense for these cryptocurrencies. It's not good at all. So, you know, hopefully we can start to get back above here. And you can see how it affects these other cryptos. We're starting to see Ethereum kind of teeter-totter up and down, filling in its symmetrical triangle. Hopefully this breaks us bullish. These typically have a bullish bias since we broke down into a pattern here. The goal is we break up and through the downtrend here. That would be the best thing is that we break through it and see a pump to the upside. Fingers crossed that's what happens here. Hopefully, uh, you know, it comes true, but uh, we'll see how that goes as we move forward. Same thing with Bitcoin here, not looking too good. Um, I'm getting a little worried again. Every time we get into close quarters retesting this bottom support, I get worried that we're going to break through it because if we do, it's going to be a very substantial drop, potentially down to $13,000, which is not something that we want to see on Bitcoin. So again, keep your eyes peeled on the way these are trending right now. If we start to see us break downwards and close the daily below this support here, we know 19K is confirmed that we're going to see a dump, is most likely going to be seeing a dump. But hopefully we can stay above this and start to, you know, trail to the upside here. The biggest factor in this is how the S&P plays out. If the S&P can open positively, which honestly, since, you know, the markets, all the cryptos are down now, there's a good chance the S&P is going to be down today. If we can break through this, hopefully this is the double bottom and hopefully we can start to, you know, kind of lift off here, but ideally it might not happen. And then we could, you know, potentially fall back inside this channel here. It's uh, it's not something we want to be in. We really don't. This is a very solid support though. And hopefully this is it. Hopefully this is the soft landing, but people are preparing for a lot longer and a lot worse movements here. I mean, I would love it if we could just kind of trend like this into 2023, 2024, it'd be great because we wouldn't be dropping lower and it'd give me time to be uh, dollar cost averaging here. But uh, right now it's a little worrisome. We don't know, but you know, it's, it's really just hit or miss. The goal is that we can start to see some positive momentum in these markets here that can hopefully lift these other cryptocurrencies out of the market following the S&P 500. And the reason I believe that is because we were low to oversold here. So hopefully we can do that. But honestly, I'm starting to see more of a reason that we're going to come back down inside this channel, which isn't necessarily a good thing for the stock market and for cryptocurrency. But that's about it for today's video. Make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace. <laughs>